mischievous engines working on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. They're kept busy pushing and pulling cars up and down the line that runs from the China Clay Works to the harbor yard. They like to have fun together and often play tricks on the workmen. But sometimes their teasing ways can get them into trouble. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see them. Important goods have arrived in the big yard. Bill and Ben, I need you to help the other engines. Oh, yes, of course, sir, replied the twins. They set off happily on their important mission. Boko was resting in the yard when suddenly he heard a pair of familiar whistles. Oh, yes, of course, sir, replied the twins. They set off happily on their important mission. Boko was resting in the yard when suddenly he heard a pair of familiar whistles. Hmm, sighed Boko. Here comes trouble. Sir Topham Hatt told us you were tired, teased Bill. He asked us to take all your cars for you. You two never stop, do you? But I'm wise to your pranks, and we do need help here. The twins were soon busy pushing and pulling the heavy cars into place. At last, the day's work was done. The twins now became excited. <laughs> day's work was done. The twins now became excited. They were going to use the turntable for the first time. Bill went first. This is fun, he shrieked to Ben. He didn't want to move off at all. The foreman stopped the turntable. Please make way for the other engines, he ordered. Bill did so, but the foreman had accidentally stopped the turntable in the wrong place. He didn't want to move off at all. The foreman stopped the turntable. Please make way for the other engines, he ordered. Bill did so, but the foreman had accidentally stopped the turntable in the wrong place. Bill was on the wrong track, and there was Ben puffing directly toward him. The engines came to a grinding halt. They gazed grimly at each other. I was here first, said Bill. But you're in my way, protested Ben. You'll have to back up again. I won't. You will wait. halt. They gazed grimly at each other. I was here first, said Bill. But you're in my way, protested Ben. You'll have to back up again. I won't. You will. I won't. Sir Topham Hatt came to stop the noise. If you don't behave, I shall not allow you here again. The next day, Ben was still grumpy. And Bill, imagine getting again. The next day, Ben was still grumpy. And Bill, imagine her again. The next day, Ben was still grumpy. And Bill, imagine getting in my way on the turntable. He's a really silly engine. The way I heard it, sighed Boko, it sounded like you were both to blame. Huh, <laughs> you must have heard it all wrong. The twins grumbled about each other all day. Even kind Edward lost patience. All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. You're quite right, and that's why I've come up with a plan. Boko whispered his plan to Edward. All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. You're quite right, and that's why I've come up with a plan. Boko whispered his plan to Edward. Then his driver told Sir Topham Hatt. I'll start making arrangements right away. Boko whispered his plan to Edward. Then his driver told Sir Topham Hatt. I'll start making arrangements right away. 
The next morning, he called Bill and Ben into the yard. Boko is taking a special train to the harbor. His regular heavy goods train is waiting on the siding. You can pull it together. But, but, protested Bill and Ben, who were still not speaking to each other. Good. I knew I could rely on you two. I'll take the train myself, huffed Ben. Go right ahead, said Bill. Ben was coupled up to the train of freight cars, but they were too heavy for him to move alone. Go on, teased Bill. I can't, said Ben. Then suddenly both twins laughed. I don't think we'll take turns this time, Ben, said Bill. I think we'd better pull together. Ben was delighted. It was good to be helping each other. Best of all, it was good to be friends again.